Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, this one's on some uh, terrain that I've been building for uh, my Wild West Wargaming, which I only started uh, three weeks ago. We've had three games the last three weeks at the Wargames Club. Uh, just a little skirmish uh, with some uh, Wild West figures. So I thought it'd be nice to actually have uh, some Wild West terrain. So I went online and um, went up to the Wargames Vault and downloaded some uh, printout terrain and buildings. Um, this is from a, a set of Whitewash City uh, by a chap called Holtz, uh, Eric Holt, Holtz, that's it. Um, and for a few dollars you can buy a, a set of buildings. Um, there are oh, 30, 40 different buildings maybe. Um, I bought a couple of sets and then a couple of individuals and you get the plans uh, the idea is to print them out on card and, and you have a card uh, city. However, I've been using um, underfloor heating insulation, the same stuff that I made my hex terrain with, uh, this sort of stuff. Uh, it comes in, in great big sheets uh, and I cut them down. And then you just cut out the templates uh, and make your building. So um, this is how it sort of starts, starts off. Um, just cut out the pieces and then I I, uh, I use some um, very thin uh, foam uh, which I score uh, so that, that's the very thin stuff which uh, I've cut using a wire cutter and sort of shaved it off the top um, of these, these pieces uh, and then I, uh, you, you can sort of score anything you like into that, so um, no one's sort of planking or uh, roof tiles, just with a pencil. And um, and then I stick those onto the uh, the frame. So you've got your uh, planks, and uh, the same with the roof. Uh, so that ones that I've just glued together. And this is a little church that I've done. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll fill in all the gaps and um, add doors and windows. Uh, the roof's made out of uh, mounting card, and then again, I've just sort of stuck on the scored stuff on there. So I've made four buildings so far. Um, this is what it ends up like. So this is uh, a bunker and um, I've just stuck it on a piece of cork tile I painted it and uh, weathered it the uh, windows and doors are just uh, little pieces of foam core which I've scored using the pencil again and, and painted and then uh, I'll, I'll stick some uh, terrain and uh, foliage and stuff around the outside uh, and make it a bit more scenic, so that's the bunker and then we've got a shop, um, so I need to finish painting the door and then add the signs on the front. Again the windows are just uh, painted in and the uh, roof comes off so you can stick mini figs in the uh, inside. And then uh, I've got a small hotel. And this one's got the uh, things to tie your horses up to outside. Um, with the windows here, I've, I've just literally uh, cut holes in the foam. Again, the, the roofs come off. And you can put soldiers inside. Uh, just needs to finish it off with a bit of weathering and tidying up. And lastly, I've got my larger hotel. So I did the windows with these slightly differently. Uh, I made them out of matchsticks, so it was really fiddly and took ages. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Um, and then I've made the balcony. So the, ba the balcony. Oh, that, uh, doesn't touch the ceiling. Um, 
The balcony is just a bit of that foam core which is scored into planks and then the, the uh, balustrades made with matchsticks. So again, uh, I'll uh, tidy that up with a bit of terrain and uh, maybe a bit of vegetation outside, see if I can get an order some barrels or something. And then again the lid comes off. Uh, added a couple of chimneys. They don't look too bad uh, for uh, some Wild West war gaming. So I'll, uh, I've got another four more to paint up and then a few more plans to sort out. Thanks for watching.